I actually want to talk about someone else real quick that's extremely consistent in the Bitcoin space, and um, that is Mo Levin. Uh, I've been privileged to be a speaker at this conference sin since its inception, and I think anyone that's been here before and that's enjoying this conference can say that this is by far the most consistent, great experience of a Bitcoin conference in the entire cryptocurrency space. So if we get a round of applause for Mo Levin. Love you to death, man. Anyway, so um, so yeah, I, I've been around the crypto space for a while, and if, if you've met me, pretty much what I like to do is I, I like to feed people with Bitcoin. Uh, I really just like to feed people, and, uh, and I've been doing uh, homeless outreach using cryptocurrencies since about 2013. Uh, we have this problem in the United States, and a lot of people don't realize that we have it, or maybe you do realize it, but you don't realize the gravity of it. So I'm going to kind of run through it here and then talk about how Unsung tackles it. Um, in the United States, 49 million Americans live in hunger. So that's like 49 million men, women, and children that don't know where their next meal is coming from. And uh, to, top, to sort of pour salt in that wound, we also throw away half a trillion dollars, $537 trillion worth of, I'm sorry, trillion, sorry, billion, it's still big, $537 billion worth of food, half a trillion dollars worth of food annually, um, while we have 50 million Americans living in hunger. So we have millions of Americans that are starving while billions are being thrown into the dumpster. And this just seems really silly. It, seemed, it seems like a really ridiculous problem to have and that there, there should be a technological solution to fix that. So that's, at Unsung, that's what we're doing, is we're trying to leverage the sharing economy to end hunger. Now, in, in, with Unsung, if you have a restaurant or you're a grocer or a caterer or you just have excess food, you just simply go into the Unsung app and you tell us what you have. And then uh, we have a volunteer pool of drivers that will get notified that food is available and they can come pick that food up and they can take it to somebody in need. Now, we talk about homelessness a lot, like feeding the homeless, but of the 49 million Americans that are, that are uh, living in hunger, only about three and a half million of them are ex dealing with homelessness. So we're talking about working poor or uh, you know, children, the elderly, things like Meals on Wheels, things like that, that are completely, uh, they're oversaturated and, and, uh, and there, there's just a lot of people that you don't traditionally think about being in hunger that are dealing with it. And so Unsung will meet all of that. You don't, it's not just homeless people, it's just anyone that needs it. We can take that food and we can give it to people uh, that are in need. And so, uh, where sort of the cool stuff comes in is that every meal that's donated on the Unsung is broadcast on our live feed. So when a meal is handed out, you actually see it. You actually see the picture on a live feed. So if you're, if you're providing this food to someone to be fed, you can actually then see that food go out into your community and actually be utilized. So you feel a lot more connected to it. Um, and then on Unsung, and this is sort of where the Bitcoin thing comes in, is that on Sung, people actually compete to do the most good. We've gamified the app. So people that are delivering, um, there's a leaderboard and you can go out and you can find out who are the people doing the most good in your area, who's feeding the most people in your town or your neighborhood. And everybody uh, has their own Bitcoin address on there. And so instead of incentivizing an organization who claims they're doing something, you can incentivize the people that are actually on the ground doing the most work because you can see the work being done and you can incentivize that directly with Bitcoin. Um, and so, so that's what Unsung is. That's the Unsung app. Now, last year, um, uh, Dean and Steve, my lead dev and I, uh, we demoed a proof of concept of Unsung here at the Bitcoin conference. And, um, and at the time, we had fed a couple of dozen meals across the, the, um, the app. Uh, well, in 2016, um, we, uh, we fed 16,137 meals on the Unsung app. And, um, and it's, it's great, and, and that's uh, it's a large number. It's actually, it's actually pretty small. Like, uh, we, didn't do, we didn't do a whole lot. We didn't do a lot of advertising. We did a lot of like, sort of focusing on the game metrics and sort of focusing on making the product work well and developing a community. Um, but we've seen sort of this organic meteoric rise um, basically since February of 2016 uh, in every metric that counts for us. Um, so that would be like 
members on our platform, uh, donations received and meals fed, we've had a, about 10% growth week over week for all of 2016. So we're, we're doing, doing fairly well. Um, we started in Baltimore, which is where we're based. And then uh, we had this serendipitous thing where Austin came on board. Essentially, if you're familiar with the, with the co project Arcade City, I was on a cryptocurrency show. Actually, I was on The Crypto Show with Danny Sessoms, who might actually be in the audience. I'm not sure. Um, and I was on the, on the show with the CEO of, of Arcade City. And sort of flippantly, uh, Arcade City is a, de is a decentralized Uber or Lyft kind of situation. And Danny said, hey, well, you know, Jason's got the food and you've got the drivers. Why don't you guys get together? And then uh, and you can have Arcade City drivers driving around. I thought that was sort of humorous. Didn't really think anything of it. And then the next morning, we had like 100 Arcade City drivers that had signed up to be unsung drivers in Austin. So very quickly, unsung um, got off the ground in Austin as well. And uh, sort of a friendly challenge to our to our newest market uh, we said okay cool let's have a race and we'll see who can feed a thousand meals first and you know baltimore had months of do working on the app and we had a community and we were like you know kind of like the young whippersnappers uh you know we'll give you a good run austin beat our ass um they got so they got to a thousand meals in like a week it was really really cool um, but more so than that uh, the communities that organize around this, uh, this concept, um, they organically start figuring things out on their own. This is um, a picture from the Capital Factory in Austin. And the Capital Factory is a co-working space. It's a fantastic co-working space in Austin. And, um, and this is a sock drive that uh, unsung members in Austin took it upon themselves to do. And why a sock drive? Well. I've been working with homeless people for five years or so, and I know that the number one article of clothing that a homeless person needs is a sock. Like, it's, it's like the, when you're outside, you're not inside a whole lot, that's where the wear and tear is. It's on your feet, and so your socks wear out a lot. So socks are always in demand. Well, these, these weren't trained you know, homeless rights act, activists. Like, these were just people. But just in interacting with them and in the just sort of natural progression of how unsung works, they figured that out, and then they figured out that socks would be a good thing, and then on their own, they, they did a sock drive, and we were actually able to raise uh, a little over 500 socks, and those, those socks were all passed out to the Unsung Network as well. Um, and then um, the other cool things that have happened in 2016, and we've made a couple of cool corporate sponsors. Um, Groupon, and through their Order Up platform, has reached out to us, and so in the greater Baltimore area, um, any Groupon restaurant that uh, does a double order on catering or has leftovers, uh, that, that stuff shows up on the Unsung Network and we pick it up, which is fantastic. And then uh, in Seattle, uh, we've actually uh, built a relationship with Soylent. Uh, if you know what Soylent is, it's a meal replacement thing. We have, that's Armon, who is our Northwest coordinator for Unsung, and he was, he's a big, Soylent guy, and one day when he was out feeding people, he just started feeding uh, Soylent as well, and Soylent saw the pictures of him feeding Soylent, and was like, hey, we can just give you guys a bunch of Soylent. <laughs> and so now, uh, Soylent loves us, and if you check our, our Twitter feed, Soylent's on there loving uh, the work that we're doing, and, uh, and it's great. It's been a, lot, a whole lot of fun. Um, and so we're debuting two new concepts for Unsung here at the Miami Bitcoin Conference, the North American Bitcoin Conference. Um, and we're, we're, we're unveiling um, this push, which we're calling This Meal Matters, which is when you think about this huge problem that we have of, you know, 49 million people living in hunger in this country. It seems huge and it seems like it's going to be this insurmountable thing. But the truth is, is that, you know, we have 350 million people here. Uh, in, in this country, and that we don't need large organizations doing large bureaucratic things. We need us individually taking care of the people in our neighborhood and actually just reaching out. So really, don't think that you have to go out and do, uh, you know, feed 200 meals in a park or something like that to be a, an important part of Unsung. Really just, just one meal, just like saying, you know what, I know there's a homeless dude down the street, I see him, um, I'm going to go out and, and feed him this meal, and I'm going to make sure that once a week I'm gonna, going to do that. And if a lot of us start doing that, 
we can really start taking a much larger chunk out of this problem of hunger. So um, what we're doing is we're, doing, we're saying take the pledge, which is make the pledge that you'll feed one person, that you'll just, uh, you will go out and, and make a, uh, give a meal to, it could be a homeless person or it could be an elderly neighbor of yours that she knows having a problem getting nutrition. In Baltimore, we have, uh, we have school teachers that actually know that their students aren't eating well because they can tell and so they actually order meals through one song to get their students fed. And any of that would be fantastic, but we don't all have time to participate in it, so we're also, um, uh, we've also added in the ability to sponsor a meal. And so this is, um, is basically, uh, you can pick how many meals you want to sponsor, and there's gonna be a dollar amount assigned to that. And if you sponsor a meal, um, when the meal goes out, we will throw your name on that, so that's, uh, that's this meal sponsored by my mycelium, so that's like a corporate sponsorship, and this is like, with love from Steve Beauregard, uh, who's a fantastic supporter of Unsung and also the CEO of GoCoin. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, so you could do that too, because, you know, it's always, a, you know, you might not have time, but you have money. Maybe you don't have money, but you have time. Maybe you have a little bit of both. We can do that. And then today, um, Dash, Dot org has sponsored 200 meals that we're going to be feeding during the Miami Bitcoin conference. So that's um, some meals that we're doing that are Dash sponsored, um, and it's just a it's just an innovative way to uh, to get involved. And so when uh, when you sponsor a meal through our platform, um, you're going to enter an email address associated with the number of meals that you've sponsored, and that email address is going to get the photographic feed of those meals that you sponsor coming back. So you can actually feel it, uh, you can actually see those meals being fed and actually, you know, feel some sort of connection to that happening. And I think, I think that's it. So that's unsung.org. Um, and uh, thank you guys for your time. Enjoy the rest of the North American Bitcoin Conference. <laughs>